Hey everybody, it's your girl Sugar Mama. Um, again, I'm going to preview some Timu stuff. I've done about six videos since the last time um, I did did a video on here, but I've been doing them live on Facebook. So, and I haven't been able to figure out how to um, transfer it over to another app, like on um, you know on my. Um, TikTok or on my um, YouTube channel. So anyway, I've gotten two more orders. So I'm going to review what I got this time. So you can see what I got. Okay, so this is a pumice stone for your feet. To, you know, in between your patties. And you know, because like the last time I got a couple of patties, the patties weren't all that good. And because my favorite person didn't do them for me. So my foot, my skin's dry. So it went to flaking earlier than it should have. But if you do use this in between, because it's the same plumbing stone they use at the foot place, you know, with a little salt to scrape your foot with. So you can use this in between your patties to make sure that you don't have any disgusting looking dried skin on the bottom of your feet on the sides of your feet and if you're like me I like to either be barefooted or my foot's out a lot and so you don't want nobody to be talking about your foot ew look at that foot this is an earring holder and it's supposed to hold I forget how many pairs of earrings but it's a neat little doohickey and since I set up displays and stuff it's, it's great for that and I've, I always need something portable that I can carry with me on on the, on the spur, and um, to set up jewelry and display. And I didn't have, I do have some earring display uh, models, but they're usually larger and they're just a tad bit bulkier, so they, they're hard sometimes to. Um, you know what? I have put on some glasses so I can see. Or we're gonna be in trouble because I ain't gonna know what I'm looking at. Okay, these are some black beads, and they appear to be four millimeters, I think. No, it says six millimeter. Uh, six millimeter black beads, and I think it's a hundred of them in there. Let me open them and see what they look like. Okay, they're small black beads, glass beads. They don't tell me the quantity, but it's more than 50, so it's probably a, a hundred. It is a hundred pieces. It does tell me on the bag. I just didn't see it. Okay. Um, these are rhodium seven by one. These are clasps, I think they are. For um, accordions, they're for accordions. If you're making jewelry that you're putting a cord on, um, whether you're using leather or a string type cord, um, that's what you would use. And then you would attach your jump ring and whatever else you want to attach to it. This was the last one I got, guys. So. And I keep saying I'm not going to get any more. Oh, some tooth powder. I'm going to try that today. It's supposed to be a whiten, whitening agent. It's supposed to be better than the dental stuff. Just for cheaper. So I'm, I'm going to see how that works. And I will definitely let you know. Mm. Okay, these are some bead caps. And they're no particular size. Uh, they're fit up to I think like maybe a 10 to 12 millimeter bead and I had some before that were just a tad bit larger than this and I love them they were larger because they were like for 12 to 14 millimeter bead but they're vet they're open they're hollow um, it's a real nice bead cap I like those and they're hard to find the other ones I had uh, were hard to find Okay, these are some beads. Y'all, I don't need no more beads. 
and it's a hundred pieces of bead and they're uh, like a sea green like a sea green bead and I keep saying I'm not buying any more beads but then I keep seeing beads that I don't have so I get this is a square kumihimi kumuhumu <laughs> disc I have a round one because I like to do kimohimo Kimo, chemo, whatever it's called. It's Chinese knot tying. I didn't have a square one. So I want to try a square one and see what I can make. I do like the round wheel. Um, it, it makes some unique braids and beads. Um, it saves time when you're trying to... Because you can do the same thing if you're using a needle and thread and you're beading it. Um, but this makes it a whole lot simpler. And these are some more of the same bead caps that I showed you earlier. And I evidently have gotten two packs. Um, make sure they're the same size. They are the same size. These are some black beads, just larger, because I didn't have any. And they look like a 12 millimeter. Let's see, does it tell me? I think it says 14 but. okay here's a beading needle guys it's a big eye beading needle um, if you're doing like waist beads or any type of beading uh, for sequencing where you're going to need a large volume of beads at one time on a needle and I've never seen a big eye needle in this size uh, it's almost like a not a tulip needle but it's a big eye needle for beading and the whole eye is a the whole eye is a needle and you as you can see you can string an awful lot of beads on at one time so if you don't have like a, a bead spinner this would be your next best option if you didn't have like a bead spinner this is the bag that came yesterday My husband found it on the porch this morning. I'm like, you done order some more stuff? What you done ordered now? Stuff. Okay, these are some more <laughs> organizing containers. Now, I like these little containers here. Um, they're neat, they're light, and um, you can put items that you don't have like a little bit of, you don't have a lot of. And you can put these, put them in here. Because I probably put my bead caps in here. Um, they'll be easier to find. And probably my accordions too. Because I don't need to put them in a big container. Because they'd get lost in there. And I still wouldn't be able to find them. Gosh. And I ordered one of these before. And I've got to find the other one. And it's a gold one. And I didn't know what it was. And I'm like, I didn't order this ring. What kind of ring is this? But it's not really a ring. What it, it is a ring, but it's for knitting, a crocheting, or any type of thing that you're doing with thread. And you hook the thread, it holds the thread for you. So that when you're sewing, you don't have to wrap it around your finger so much. You wrap it around here and it, and it helps you guide the thread where you need to guide the thread. Which I think is neat. I'm like, yay, okay, so that's what it is. And I was like, why would I order this ring? And this, of course, is a stone. And it's a labradorite. And I don't know if you can see the different flashes of color in it, um, but it's a Labradorite. And usually they're blue, they're more bluish than this. Um, I'm trying to see if you can get some of the flash in it. Labradorite is a beautiful stone. And this one's heavy. Uh, so 
that would go in something if you're doing maybe like a choker or something because it would be too heavy just to wear around your neck or something um, or you can do it as a focal piece maybe in a in a large bracelet setting but more likely in a, I put probably put it in a um, in a choker type setting to where it's the only bead that's there okay um, these are some 10 millimeter malachite and I love malachite guys it's, it's a green malachite and you can always tell malachite by the the, uh, the, the striations that's in it um, you can see it so uh, this is malachite and I had some malachite beads but I ran out I think and again they're hard rubber bands to make bracelets and these are a, a pastel bands so um, and I don't need no more rubber bands either I got enough of those and these are not very sturdy I don't think because let me tell you what I did because I got some that one seems to be pretty sturdy but I had gotten some black ones all black ones and you see my hair is 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 a uh, dreaded so I had pulled my hair back and I had just put the, the little black rubber bands on my hair like so right and the dang things pop I said well I'll just be done I'm like well what's up with that for real for real okay this is a let me see I'm gonna have to take it out of the bag so you can see it. I really want you to get a good view of it. Um, I don't think I did a video since I got my summer wardrobe from, from Timu. Uh, and, and my stuff wore very well. It did. Um, I wore a lot of it when I went on, some of it when I went on vacation. Some of it I didn't get a chance to wear, so I'll wear it next year. But this is a amethyst heart. It's a small heart. Um, real nice and use it as a focal point make a nice wrapped heart out of it these oh they're so cute they're really cute I didn't know they were going to be that cute these are some spacer beads uh, they're heavy too and I like the striations on them also See if you can see it really well. I'm trying to get it into focus. There you go. Lovely. They're just little six millimeter uh, spacer beads that you would use in between other beads as a spacer. And it appears to be maybe ten, two, four, six, eight, ten exactly. So I know I'm, I had to get more than one pack of those. I know I did. I have to look and see. Because I would never just get 10, <laughs> 10 beads of any kind. Because it's not a whole lot you can do with 10 beads. Just one one item fit pretty much. That's about all you can do. I think I must have gotten a lot of these hearts. And this is a dark amethyst heart. Is it in focus for you guys? There you go. And I think I got quite a bit of these little hearts. Uh, they were kind of reasonable. And, um, you know, with Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, people like hearts. So I think I got, yeah, because this one's in a blue turquoise. So I know I had gotten quite a few of the hearts. And I will wrap them, of course. Um, That's a uh, turquoise. Oops, almost dropped it. It's gonna be turk on. Okay, and this is another one of those little rings for you uh, to put on when you when you um, crocheting, so that you don't. It helps you, and this one's adjustable, so that it helps you with the 
with the string with the, you know when you string it because if you're doing like a double crochet or something you've got to wrap the yarn so it just helps it gives it a place right here it gives it a place for the yarn to sit and you have more control over the yarn and it I guess it will help relax that finger some because my fingers hurt after a while I've been crocheting for so long but my fingers hurt after a while from just that constant motion that you're doing with it and it's been hurting for some years now so um, these are some orange cat eye beads and they are hmm, I'm sure they're four mil four millimeter mil millimeter they're orange cat eyes which is pretty. Ah, some more black beads because I know it wasn't that many in the set. And this is another one of those hearts and it's a deep, deep orange. And I'll show it to you. Oh, if I can get in the bag. deep orange. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And these are they're flat backs. They're beads and they're flat and they're gold and a copper toned. Like a four millimeter flat. So and it'd be good if you're making something. Um, there's a, a necklace set that I make and the beads are in a um, graduated length. So these would be perfect for that. It's just a smaller bead rather than a larger one. Because um, the ones that I have are actually larger beads and I do a nice graduated um, Now, I don't know how I got this or why I got it, but I'm going to probably <laughs> give it to somebody. I don't remember ordering this, guys, but it's a, it's a keychain, and there's an inscription on the, key, key, on the keychain, if I can get it to lose. There's an inscription on it, and I, don't, I know you won't be able to read it, but it says, Let's see if anybody can read that. It says, don't do stupid sugar honey iced tea, is what it says. So, you know, we say don't do stupid stuff. That says don't do stupid sugar honey iced tea. So, I know somebody that that would <laughs> fit perfectly for. And these are some yellow six millimeter beads. Lemon yellow. Lemon, lemon. Lemon, honey, honey. Honey, honey. Ooh, ooh. So you know, you know this means now I'm gonna have to go and reorganize my beads all over again, right? At least the last set that I got that I organized according to color. Because now I got more of the same colors and I don't know if they're the same beads but I'm gonna have to go back to room I know I've got some of these and these are amethyst and so I'm gonna have to go back through them and reorganize them mm -hmm. okay these okay it's a multi set and it has clamshells Lots of claws and jump rings. It's a mixed bag of golden color, gold color. 
I said this lobster claws, clam shells, and jump rings. So that'd be everything you need to complete a set of something. All in the same tone. More bead cones. And these are more of a tulip shell cone, bead cone. So I'm thinking I could use, rather than using a round bead, that I could probably use, because I have beads that are tulip shaped. Um, that I could use. I Nothing beats a failure but a try. So you know when I order this stuff, I've got all kind of ideas running through my head at that time. And what I could do and what I can make. And usually I don't get it made, but... These are spacers, and I've got some that's a little bit larger than these, but they're double-ended, and they're gold-colored, so um, I've got those in a variety of sizes to go with a variety of size beads, because you can't use the same size cone with everything. And, oh, I like these beads, and I had gotten a whole bunch of them from either Fire Mountain Gems or Panda Hall. Of these beads here they sent me a whole big container of them and I love them because if you got something that's multicolored um, like I got a couple of outfits that's multicolored and it actually has all of these colors in it and I made a set of three different sets of jewelry actually to go with it and um, worked out really nice or you could wear it with something that's um, you know clear you know solid color Okay, this is a heart also, but it's rose quartz. So it's, it's rose quartz. And this one, really odd. Um, it's kind of, I don't have any nails, but my, my little nail I had did, did have broke off, so I don't have any now. I don't even know what color to tell you this is but it's orange and it has some green in it so it's almost like it's uh bicolored and i guess it is bicolored but it's very pretty it's very pretty um that's the other side of it but it's very pretty i've never seen a stone quite like that when i like it I'm always looking for unique stuff. Um, somebody had asked me to do a heart for them the other day, and I only had one heart. And I had trouble uh, with it. Here's another heart, and it's an orange. So, like I said, I had gotten several of the hearts. Some more cones. See, I know I had some more of those little beads. I told you I wouldn't have just gotten one set if it was only 10 in it. And these are some more cone, I mean, uh, ribbon or cord ends in the golden color. Sterling silver um, ear wires. These are sterling silver ear wires. Some more of the uh, spacers, the double ended spacers. And that's a pretty quartz heart. Those are cones. And more rubber bands for Christmas and some more of the of the uh, jump rings and lobster claw and stuff so that's that bag guys so I think all I had in this bag was the jewelry 
and I still got to get in there and redo my dining room so I can because it's no longer a dining room it's a, it's my studio the jury and I can't really get in there to do anything just it's everywhere guys I need a professional help to come and help me organize to help me set this stuff up because it's everywhere everywhere so I really need help but I'll get it together and I want to set up shop somewhere besides in my I keep telling my husband I need a she shed and I haven't gotten an answer yet um, so I guess that means no okay so one of my prongs on my uh organizer here is broken up at the top i'm just noticing that look that one's broken so i'm gonna see if i can glue it i probably could glue it back together um glue it back into place and it should be okay i don't want to have to send it back I really don't. I hate sending stuff back. It's more of a hassle sometimes to send it back than it takes you to get it. And then by the time I get another one, it'll be so long until, you know, I'll be done forgot. I sent it all done, got frustrated. So I'll probably just try to put some liquid glue on it. I've got some E6000 and um, got some other glues around here. I know crazy glue, some uncrazy glue, but I'll try to put something on it to um, fix it up, to hold it up, guys. So that's, did I put everything back in the bag? I'm trying to make sure I got everything back in the bag that's supposed to be in the bag, and then one day, I guess, I will go through it, and I promise I'll go through it and put it where it belongs. And, um, I'm running out of space for my storage. Um, I took, um, my son bought me a shoe rack and it, you know, nice little shoe rack, but I didn't need a shoe rack in actuality. And I didn't have any room in the closet. So I put it in a space that I had in the dining room and I said, well, okay, I can stack, you know, I can store some jewelry stuff on it. And I did. And it lasted every bit of a week and it started leaning forward in leaning forward until it fell over and it bent the little rods in it so I tried to straighten them out and fix it so I tried it again and I rearranged everything and nothing that I put on it was really that heavy at least I didn't think so and um, it didn't work well it fell the, the, the rods bent I had to throw it out so I had another shoe organizer that were they're actually little acrylic boxes and you had to put them together and so I put those together and um, I think it's 10 of them or 12 of them but I used it instead of putting shoes in it I've used and it's got little doors on it so I used it for jewelry uh, for smaller containers that I have like the little containers that I showed you I can put those in it without it um, falling over or collapsing I could put like my little rubber band stuff in it without it collapsing so I've got some you know smaller lighter stuff in there that otherwise would get just get lost amongst the other stuff that I have so I put it in there but and it's on the wall so I'm you know on the side of the wall so I'm running out of space wall space to put anything up against the walls uh, I actually all four walls in my dining room is covered um, so there is no more space so I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of space so maybe somebody got some suggestions for me other than a shed because that that's just not feasible at the moment and if I get a shed because the shed's gonna cost me anywhere from four to six thousand dollars to get a sizable you know and that's just a medium-sized shed um and that's one that's pretty much stripped down um because then i'm gonna need to i think they all come wired for electricity but it's pretty much stripped down 
Um, so I'll have to put shelves in it and stuff to, you know, for storage to put my stuff on. So I have to be able to, you know, install shelves and stuff in it um, to make it a nice storage area. I've got tables. Um, I've got chairs. I've got tables. I've, you know, to set up in there to work on. Um, I would just need shelves and a nice floor. Uh, some air. Fan will do. As long as it keep me cool. It's got a window. And a little portable heater. And I'll be set. But right now, I just don't have the funds. So if anybody want to donate, I'll start a collection for me to get me a she shed. Or shed. It don't even have to be a she shed. <laughs> just a nice shed shed. So that I can put my stuff in and organize and actually use my dining room as a dining room which is what it was intended to be and now it's just a junk haven so anyway that's my two move haul for this time and I will when I get my next haul I will be back so long